Hey, it's Gregory Kallenberg from the Prize Foundation and Film Prize, and I am so excited to be doing top 20 interviews with our filmmakers this year. Um, and before I jump into it, you get to meet this young man who has made an amazing film. I want to remind everyone that Louisiana Film Prize is September 30th through October 2nd, where you, the audience, gets to see all 20 short films that were made for the Film Prize. You get to vote, and you get to hand one filmmaker $25,000 cash, which, by the way, is the world's largest cash prize for a short narrative film. It's an amazing time for everyone. Also want to remind everyone that this year's Prize Fest and Film Prize is requiring proof of vaccine or proof of a negative COVID test. And it is going to be incredible, but those are requirements and you can get your tickets at prizefest.com. Speaking of prizefest.com, speaking of prizefest, speaking of Louisiana Film Prize, speaking of our top 20 class of filmmakers, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the virtual stage, Ian, and do you say the last name McFadden? Is that how you say yep. it? Yeah, McFadden. Okay. Got it. It's, you know, I never, you know, those those Celtic spellings of things always get me Celtic Scottish. I'm just, I'm just not as good with it as I, I but Ian McFadden, welcome to the uh, Film Prize stage. Yeah, thank you. I'm really excited, really excited to be here soon. Fantastic. Well, you know, why don't we start a bit about you telling folks the title of your film and what it's about and try not to give any spoilers. Okay. Um, so the title of the short film is Skip Ads, and it's pretty much just about these young um, college age kids that uh, start experimenting with the, uh, what we call the, you know, the algorithm um, and learn to find out that they may be able to manipulate the ads that they they get on their phone through their car and stuff to their advantage. You know, I I, I, I love this, Ian, because you have described Skip Ads as this uh, this film of intrigue and um, uh, like a taught, um, you know, almost like governmental, like conspiracy type film, but it's not. It sort of fits into a genre. Would you, is that how you want people to like, I mean, I understand that they're messing with an algorithm, but there's there's a bit more there. Tell people a bit what genre it is and why you picked that genre. I mean, it's it's definitely in the comedy drama, uh, comedy and sort of dark comedy sort of, uh, um, there's, yeah, I mean, really, I'd really just say darkish comedy. Um, and I just chose that because I, I I enjoy trying to make fun things like this was definitely just a fun project that uh, I came up with with um, some friends with like my producer and co writer. And uh, we just kind of we started with that small like with this small idea and it just grew and I mean we just really had fun with it so that's that's kind of where we got it from. You know, and just for the audience out there, that's probably how Richard Linkletter described Slacker the first time he was talking about it too. So, so don't don't sleep on Ian McFadden at all. Um, Ian, you are um, a film student down at the University of New Orleans. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And so I'm I'm curious, you know, for somebody who's just getting started, for somebody who is doing work at this level, um, what inspires you as a filmmaker? I mean, really. Uh... I find, I, I feel like I find a lot of inspiration through just um, me going through life through, uh, through stories that like I've heard from family members and stuff like that, or just real, real true stories and things like that. And that, that's kind of what, how the um, skip ads actually came to be just through an idea of when people are like, oh, you, your phone's listening to you because it gave you this ad. And we were talking about bananas an hour ago and now you have a banana ad you know what I mean so I, I like to pull from real world stories or um just kind of current events and things like that uh, I mean I feel like that's where I draw most of my inspiration from really like I like movies I like watching movies but I, 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 I can't think of like a specific film or filmmaker that I'm like he has you know transformed me made me the filmmaker I am you know what I mean so I love that. I love that. I mean, it's, it certainly feels like uh, experiential and, and certainly is, is definitely of the moment. Um, right. you know, I'm you're one of the filmmakers that sort of came to us through um, our film in place uh, statewide filming program. I believe you filmed this film in New Orleans. Is that correct? That's correct. Um, I mean, tell us a bit. I'm, I'm curious what 
drew you into Film Prize? Um, what 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 connected you to us, and and why did you make a film and and take a shot at, at at doing something like this? So yeah, so I I found Film Prize. I'm pretty sure through just like an Instagram ad or something like that. I just saw it online and I was like, okay, this seems cool. I, I looked into it and I was like, it's it's just cool that it's like only Louisiana and stuff like that. So I was interested in it. And then I knew I was planning on making a film uh, in the spring. And so I, I was just like, well, whatever. I don't even think I had the idea yet, but whatever film I, I, I'm going to make, I'll, I'll like, I'll try to put in, submit it to film prize. And so, I mean, it just kind of worked. It, it fell, fell right in place, you know, of, of how it came to be. So really, I mean, I, I'm glad that I had found it. I really found it on a whim. Like I, I'd never heard of it. I was kind of surprised because it seems like a huge thing. Um, but I'm glad I found out about it. Really. Yeah, it's 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 definitely by by our standards and also by national standards. When you look at sort of the independent filmmaking world, it's a, a massive thing, and we're we're, we're thrilled to have you um, uh, to be a, a part of this. Talk a bit about you know the casting. Um, I got to tell you that um, I'm always curious. Um, when I see a cast that works as well as they do together, and um, uh, and I'm along that line, is that is was a lot of that scripted or was some of it improv? How did how did that work? Yeah, so I mean the two the two main actors that are in like every scene, they're actually friends, and I'm pretty close friends with both of our. I'm I'm closer to one friend, but um, so they were kind of friends, so they knew each other, and I think that helped them work work well together. And they're, they're just both students who, I mean, do acting, you know, dabble in it. Um, so that was just kind of like, well, I'll just get these guys. I know them and I think I, I can work with them well. And I, I think that just helped for me to, you know, not be afraid to kind of be like, oh, this is sort of, I want to, so, sort of what I want, you know, because I just, I already knew them. And then um, the other two, I, it, it was actually kind of hard to find actors just because it was it's just a short film a student short film not many people are super interested in in doing that but I was able to find a couple people um who are all who are all still well, one was a graduate from UNO and then the other is it was a current student at UNO as well and I mean I think it, I think it worked out pretty well for what it is I'm pretty I mean I'm happy with it I'm I obviously I'm the filmmaker so I'm always going to be critiquing you know I, I I'll always have issues with it but I'm, I'm I'm happy with how it went how it came together yeah you know and and it is it is interesting um you know when uh people tell me about having experiences like that where um, they're basically using friends and things work out as well as they did what was it like being on set with those guys what was that shooting experience like I mean the, the our my set was pretty chill like it was a good time I had allotted like, I, we shot, uh, I'm trying to think, two fullish days and two sort of half days. And I mean, I had allotted way more time for, for what we actually needed. We, we were able to really bang it out quick. And it was just like, it just worked well. Like everyone, I felt like everyone was just comfortable and could, and was ready and professional. And then we were able to just really smoothly um, work together. Um, I think that comes with, since like I've been in New Orleans, I, I make note of, you know, oh, this guy works really well. He's smart. He knows what he does. And I mean, I like to pull from that. So I pulled, I feel like I pulled a lot of good people together to fill the crew and cast. And I think that's a huge part of how to make a, like how to produce a, a film, a film well, you know what I mean? So, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I have to say that it's 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 interesting because I think our goal has always been to reach people like you who are burgeoning filmmakers, especially the above the line talent. And again, you did such a phenomenal job. I, I'm curious, you know, uh, working in New Orleans and again, the film prize now, you're able to film throughout the state of Louisiana, provide the directors from that city or you, you can film within a range of that city. Um, what would you tell other filmmakers that are out there, the other Ian McFadden's who are scrolling through Instagram right now, if you could whisper in their ears, would you suggest doing Film Prize to them? Oh yeah, most, def most definitely. I would definitely say do Film Prize and even 
like any kind of film festival and stuff like I have felt in the past like oh I mean how am I going to be able to get into something like that you know a, a film prize or another film festival like I it can feel like you're going to be up against like some some great pros who have been like you know making films for 10 years or whatever but uh I, it's really never too early to start you know just make make films submit them do whatever you can and I mean you really be shocked of what can come out of it, you know? So I really think it's just all about just keep going and keep practicing, keep making stuff. And that's really, that's really what it's all about. I love that. I love that. So, you know, um, I'm, I want to bring this back to you, Ian, and skip ads. Uh, what was that like when you heard your name called for the top 20 and did you really, understand at the time that you are going to be showing your film for $25,000 cash. What did, what did that feel like? I mean, at first I was kind of, I was, I was, well, I mean, I was really surprised, honestly, like I was thrilled, but it, I mean, at, at first, like I got the email, um, it hadn't really set in. I was like, I was honestly confused. I was like, I really don't think I like got in. I really, this doesn't seem right. But then like I saw the, the live stream and stuff. And I mean, really really thrilled really excited like to be able to have this opportunity i mean and it's i i feel like it's huge just to know that i was able to make something that people actually think it is worth you know the time so i think that's awesome well, well well you know just just while you linger on this know that the people who picked your films were viewers from south by southwest tribeca little festivals like that. So it is, it is not, uh, it is not a little thing to, uh, uh, you should certainly linger on it a, a, a little bit. Um, so uh, Ian, there is a, uh, a big moment when um, we, uh, uh, at the, you, you'll see, you'll come up for Prize Fest. And again, everyone who's out there, Prize Fest is September 30th through October uh, 2nd. But on October 3rd, we have a brunch for the filmmakers and for the cast and crew, whoever is there and wants to come and be a part of it. Um, and we bring out a big check, like literally like a, you know, an eight foot piece of styrofoam. You can't take it to a bank, but it's a big check. It actually is covered, right, with a linen. Um, I invite the entire staff to come up on stage because again, we're building a community that you're now a part of, you know, sort of the rarefied air of the top 20. Um, that linen is removed and the name Skip Ads is on that $25,000 check. What does that feel like? And what do you do with that $25,000? I mean, I would be, I'd be awestruck. I don't, I don't, I feel like I wouldn't have words for it. You know, I mean, it sounds, I, I think I would know how to respond, but I mean, I don't, I don't think I would actually be able to process it. I mean, for the money wise, if I act, if I did win that, if I do win, I definitely, uh, most like most of it would be going to the cast and crew just because I mean it was pretty much an unpaid thing and I want to share that wealth and like help and let them know that they are appreciated especially because it was their work that got me here so you know it's going to that and it's going to helping me further my career um, just boosting uh, just gear wise boosting um opportunities and just being able to make more films you know like that's that's what I want to do so I mean I'm excited to be able to if I to win that just to keep growing and get into more uh film prizes get into more festivals and things like that so that's really what it would come down to I love that man I love it yeah. hey well listen I'm going to take care of a little bit of business but then we're going to do a little Viva La Film Prize to take us out is that cool with you Sounds good. All right, good. All right, so this is, again, it's been Gregory Kallenberg. I'm doing the top 20 interviews. Prize Fest in Film Prize in particular is September 30th through October 2nd. You'll be able to see skip ads and 19 other films that you, the audience, gets to help decide who wins $25,000 cash, the world's largest cash prize for a short narrative film. Go to prizefest.com for tickets. That's prizefest.com for tickets. Also, Please know that this year you have to show proof of vaccine or a proof of a negative COVID test 
to attend and be a part of this. It's glorious. It's amazing. It's fun. You'll get to meet Ian and his cast and his crew and everyone's going to be here and it's going to be a party. All right, Ian, you ready for a little Viva La Film Prize? I'm ready. Can you do this? Have you practiced yeah. this? Yeah, you have. I can feel that you, uh, you, you've you got that energy. You're ready to give it to me. Ready? I'm give ready. it to the audience. Don't forget about me. Give it to the audience. You ready? Yeah. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Viva, Viva La, La Film, Film Prize. Prize. Nice. Great work. This is Ian McFadden from Skip Ads. Remember, go to prizefest.com for tickets September 3rd through October 2nd. Thank you so much, Ian. We really appreciate you. Good luck and may the prize be with you, my friend. Of course. Thank you so much.